the oldest settlements in Singapore, Punggol is believed to have existed 200 years ago before Sir Stanford Raffles founded Singapore. Punggol was a well-established rural district filled with several farmhouses, mainly populated by Teochews. During the Second World War in 1942, about 400 Chinese civilians were massacred by the Japanese military forces at Punggol Beach as part of the Sukching Massacre. Now Punggol Beach is marked as a national heritage site. In the 1960s, basic amenities like pipe water, electricity, paved roads and drainage system were introduced. In the 1970s, poultry and pig farms gradually phased out. In August 1996, then Prime Minister Goh Chok Tong announced Pongo 21, a government initiative to raise the standard of HDB living and cater to a growing population. Selected as the first eco-town in Singapore, Pongo is projected to have 96,000 units when fully developed, with about 3,000 new flats built every year. You can also discover more about Pongo at its new three-storey visitor centre called Pongo Discovery Cube. It is located near Pongo MRT and Waterway Point Mall. Pongo is designated into smaller estates which include Crescent, Matilda, North Shore, Pongo Canal, Pongo Downtown, Pongo Point and Pongo Waterway. Each estate contains about 1,200 to 2,800 units with a common neighbourhood green and is easily accessible with LRT. Schools, libraries and community clubs are also clustered in each estate for easy convenience. Also, Pongo residents will now get to enjoy a new community space offering vantage views of Pongo Waterway. The new Pongo Town Square, with a standing capacity of 1,000 people, is the government's latest efforts to bring residents together. Residents can now take part in activities such as exercise sessions, mini performances, art exhibitions, workshops and picnic. If you are interested in getting a HDB resale flat in Pongo, a typical forum flat in January costs about $439,000. Comparing with the previous year in January 2016, the median price of the forum flat has decreased from $440,000. To find out more about HDB resale listings, floor plans, market X value, HDB performance trends, just chat with Savvy. Savvy can be found on Facebook Messenger, srx.com.sg and stproperty.sg. Now, let's review the HDB performance in January 2017. In terms of price, overall, there was a decrease of 0.3% in HDB resale prices in January 2017 compared to that of December 2016. The resale prices of HDB 3 rooms, HDB 4 rooms decreased by 0.6% and 0.5% respectively. HDB 5 rooms and HDB executive flats increased by 0.4% and 0.9% respectively. Year on year, overall prices also decreased by 0.1% compared with January 2016. Even in a relatively slow economy, prices in HDB estates continue to rise in 2017. In January, prices increased by 0.7% in mature HDB estates such as Amokyo, Bishan and Bukit Merah. In contrast, prices in non-mature estates continue to decline by 0.8% in 2017. In terms of volume, according to the HDB data compiled by SRX Property, 1,174 HDB resale flats sold in January 2017. The data shows that monthly volume decreased 13.9% compared to 1,364 flats sold in December 2016. Which location had the highest median transaction over X value? Gelang posted the highest median TOX of positive $5,500. This means that majority of the buyers in Gelang purchased units above the market X value. Which location had the lowest median transaction over X value? Pongo posted the most negative median TOX at negative $8,500. This means that majority of the buyers in Pongo purchased units below the computer generated market X value. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this episode of XTV. Please join us next time when we highlight Singapore's private non-landed market. I'm Angela Toh. Have a good day.